For creating a new model in OpenDSSG, the first step will be to create a reference bus. The reference bus is the point in which the substation will be connected. In this case, we're going to call it source bus. When we place the <clears throat> bus on the screen, we'll see that it is visible because it has nothing connected to it. However, if I connect anything, it will disappear. To avoid that, just select show element names and that will keep it visible all the time. Now, for creating the substation, I can use the menu PC elements of the menu bar or just go straight into the tools palette. There, I'm going to select the substation. I'm just going to give it, give it some default values so we can just give a quick example here. It's going to be a 4.16 kV substation. We're saying some default values again, just to illustrate how it can be done in OpenDSSG. And now we have to define also the connection bus. To do that, just double click on elements buses, select the bus to which you want connected. You, with this window, you can also locate the bus by clicking on the magnifier. It will put the bus in the middle of the screen so you can see where it is. And then you have to define the connection the way it is going to be connected to the bus. In this uh, window, you can select how the element terminals are going to be connected to the bus. Uh, you can cross uh, the terminals. You can you can do whatever you want with that, but just to represent correctly the way the element is connected to the to the model to the grid. Then, using the highlight menu, I want to show you that the, effectively the substation was placed. In the model. The next step will be to save the model. We're going to assign the default name that we already have. We're going to replace the existing model. If you don't have it, just assign the name or leave the one that comes by default. It's up to you. Now we're going to create a different bus. So it's going to be called bus one. The buses have to be placed first in the model because we need to set a reference for connecting elements. That's one of the difference uh, between OpenDSSG and OpenDSS. Now we're going to define a transformer using the PD elements menu. For this, we're going to define, uh, well, the connection buses. It's going to be between source bus and bus one. So from the list, you can just select it or write the name or start writing some letters and the list will be completed automatically just to match with your search. We're going to find some default values for the transformer. It is populated, and we're going to leave the other values by default. Again, this transformer is going to be connected Y, Y, so we should be fine. We're going to create another bus to connect the line that will take us to the, to the load. This bus is going to, it's going to be called bus 2. I'm placing the model. And now, using the PD elements menu, we're going to add the line. It's going to be a three-phase line. We're going to add some default values for R and X. Very small, so we're going to have very small losses. And of course, using the elements buses table, we're going to define what are the connection buses for these lines. It's going to be bus 1 and bus 2. double click on it and you're going to be able to select the bus and we can see that the, the line was created to edit the way the elements are placed on the GUI just click on the bus move it to the location you want and click on the new location and now we're going to create the load using the PC elements menu mm -hmm. but before I just noticed that we have to redefine the voltage basis for the transformer. The primary is going to be 4.16 kV and the secondary is going to be 240 volts. And now we can create the load. Load is going to be a 
240 volts, three phase, line to line. <clears throat> and we're gonna, it's gonna be a 500 kVA, power factor one. Again, it's just <clears throat> hypothetical, hypothetical values we're presenting this example. And we have to select the bus to which <clears throat> the load is connected. We're gonna go for bus two. And we're gonna create it. Now, using the highlight menu, we're gonna show where the load is. Save. And now, we can go straight into the simulation mode and simulate and get some results from the simulation. So using the report side, we can get some basic reports like the voltage per element. There we have <clears throat> all the values. We can see is those values are okay. But if you want something more interactive, you can go to the reports menu and select the quick measurements. In quick measurements, we just define a region, a region of interest, and then we're gonna have this table in which we can navigate through different elements the element that I select is going to be highlighted, and we can get voltages, currents, powers, and losses on instantaneous measurement for that element. It's kind of an alternative for getting those values presented graphically. There are different filters that you can use here. For example, uh, right now I'm validating that the power for the load is correct. So it's a three-phase load, and we can see it completes the 500 kVA <clears throat> successfully. And you can filter by type of element. You can try to find elements. You can select the <clears throat> variable that you want to see. You want to see voltages, currents, powers, and losses. Everything is integrated there. It's a very fast way to have an initial measurement. And, uh, well, a graphical interaction with the model. Most of the times we already have a model ready in OpenDSS. <clears throat> the good thing is <clears throat> if this model has a bus course file, we can just integrate it with OpenDSS G using the OpenDSS to OpenDSS G translator. To do that, use the add-ons menu located at the menu bar or at the tools palette. Then just select the master file. If you want to see a preview of your model, click on preview that will show you how the model looks like. You can uh, flip it around, you can flip it uh, vertically, horizontally, uh, give it a 90 degrees uh, turn. Well, you can play with that just to give the appearance to the model as, as you need and, and you want. Once you have defined that, just click on play and start. That will start the translation. It will take just a couple of seconds and then it's going to ask you for a location for the new model. For in, the new, for in the new location, give it a name. I highly recommend not to use the same location where the original files are, so you can do some validation in case of being necessary. Now we open the model, and here we are. We have everything, we can go straight into simulation, run the model, get some uh, statistics reports, height meters, show meters. For example, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the voltage profile. This is using DSS, OpenDSS Viewer. We can even see that the, the model looks pretty, pretty good. We have the voltage profile 3D and 2D, and it looks pretty good. Also, I'm gonna do some highlight here for the voltage zones, the power consumption. You can operate the switches uh, just by clicking on them. And the model is ready to play. But what happens when my model has no bus cords? Well, in that case, that's not a problem. You can try to import it. The only thing is when you click on preview, it's gonna tell you that you have no bus cords. So OpenDSSG is gonna assign a linear path for those bus cords. Once the model is translated, just save it. And then let's open it. 
as you can see, it looks like a line. So just right click to see the buses, right click and select show element names. And with that, we can see the buses. So now what, we, what we're going to do is try to locate them manually and start moving them to give some kind of a interesting shape here. The model I'm playing with right now is the IEEE 13 bus test system. And I'm just, I'll just remove the bus chords file and I'm giving it some interesting shape here. This uh, technique is recommended for when you are working with small models. So you can just relocate those buses as you want very quickly. Again, just click on the bus, move your mouse to the new location, click on the new location, and that, that, that'll be it for relocating the, relocating the bus. And you will have uh, the system ready. So now I just want to highlight where are the substation, load, capacitors, the different colors, and just there they are. So now we're on simulation. We can just run simulation, get some values, and everything should look fine. So again, this is recommended for small systems.